Hey everybody, it's me again, Charles Lanson, and I'm in the hospital yet again. Um, it's a family curse. I don't know if it's a family curse exactly or not. I think it's a genet genetic thing. My uh, uh, my cousin and my uncle are both sort of troubled with uh, kidney stones. Or we started too later in life. Got in our forties, but. Uh, and uh, the disability doesn't help things as well with my kidneys, but uh, got a big, huge hunk of kidney stone in there, so um, on a little bit of a hiatus from uh, training vlogs. Well, I guess this uh, I was gonna go ahead and entitle this a training vlog. I don't know, but it's definitely day uh, whatever. This is day. Uh, it's part of my training journey, I guess, uh, and part of the uh, part of the series of videos. Um, so uh, and that so this would be day uh, I don't know if I, I, I don't know, day two. Okay, I think the last one was day two fifty nine. So I'm gonna guess this is day uh, two uh, two sixty nine. Why not two two seventy something? But uh, it'll it'll be corrected in the title. Two seventy of year two of the Great Reset. Build back better. It's all part of the journey, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, so we'll be doing no uh, wheelchair road work today. But I will be getting uh, in the hospital, getting some uh, maintenance taken care of that desperately needs to be done. Um, it's, if I'm going, if I'm going to make this, uh, my plan was to make this uh, a thousand-year uh, series of videos, uh, to where I'm the th uh, uh, taking my right to place as the new king of the new world order, uh, uh, the great the king of the great reset. Never mind that imposter in the, in the UK, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the real King Charles, but. Uh, so anyway, those are my delusions of grandeur. I made those when I was all hopped up on testosterone boosters and pro-hormones, and so that was sticking with that. I'm in it for the long haul. So that being said, um, yeah, training was going fine, and then I just started hitting the wall. I started getting really sick, and uh, on the last training session, I was just out there. It was a nice warm day, and I was getting the chills, so... Knew something was wrong, and just got weak and went to bed and tried to rest it off, whatever it was. But uh, next day, everything was just worse. So, uh, yeah, story of my life. I just get these recurring infections, so uh, I should, you know, I figured it was something like this. And uh, thing is, uh, yeah, I mean, in a weird roundabout way, I guess it all turned out for the best because. Uh, I, when I came in here, I was uh, sick as a dog. I mean, I was pretty scared. I scared myself. I, I had sepsis pretty bad. My uh, blood pressure was going south, and uh, they were pretty worried. Um, and I didn't, to be honest, to tell you the truth, though, I wasn't even worried. I was so just, if that's the way to go, that's probably not a bad way, uh, just because when you're blood pressure tanks like that, you're basically just super tired and going to sleep and don't really give a dang about anything. It was kind of kind of where I was at. I half didn't know, really know what was going on, but I didn't understand the severity of the situation. And uh, so, but that being said, when I started coming, they started giving me uh, some IV antibiotics. I started coming out of it. And then I started freaking out a bit because then I started thinking, well, uh, I don't know, I've kind of been flirting with going back to uh, the church, I don't know, but I, uh, over the last several years, I just, it's just not a do, sort of a doable situation, a doable option for me to go to RCIA classes and stuff like that with my health. I was baptized but as a kid, but anyway, I got, I, when I started coming to enough to realize how sketchy my situation was I was just like okay I need to talk to the priest and first the chaplain came in uh, I, I'm not exactly sure but he wasn't a priest but we had a good chat good prayer and uh, 
And then the priest came by the next day, and uh, I got to, so I got to do my first deathbed, uh, first confession, um, and I was going to do, go ahead and do uh, my first communion that day, but I was on MPO, I wasn't supposed to take any food or water, so it all kind of worked out. I was in a fast, I got a chance to sort of detox from all my favorite medications, and uh, you know, sort of come at it from a fasting state, uh, clean with a cleaner vessel than usual. And uh, so, went ahead and did that first confession. Then the next day, uh, did the first uh, communion. And the day missed the day after that, and I did that again today. So. Just, uh, yeah, things were, I was just really freaking out and, uh, you know, I didn't, didn't want to be separated from the big guy upstairs. So, I guess they call that the last rites, I don't know, but it, right now, uh, yeah, I, I'm getting better because I'm on the antibiotics, but I still have this big, huge, uh, kidney stone in me, so, and right, as of right now, they're not scheduled to take it out until Thursday, uh, so, right now, they're trying to take me off the IV antibiotics, put me on an oral, and see how that goes, I, but I can already kind of tell my white blood cell count is going up again, just because, either that, I, I, I don't know, I could just be freaking out, but I'm just, they tried that a, a couple days ago, and it just... Basically, all that happened was I just started feeling real tired and drug out again. I was feeling really, starting to feel really good when they was on the IV antibiotics, and then so they took me off of trying an oral approach. And so you know, it it was fine until later on in the day, and uh, uh, and I, I just started feeling kind of drugging out and drug out and really tired again. And uh, which is how this starts. Fevers were still kind of kept at bay. Uh, and then, so that's kind of what we're going through again today. They tried to take me off the IV antibiotics again uh, early this, this morning, tried to go the oral route with another kind, because they're sort of testing the idea of sending me home to wait for my surgery day, but I was like, I don't know, I'm a little, tra little ang I had a little bit of anxiety about that just because I was so bad. I almost died. Uh, I don't like the idea of going home and then getting that sick again and have to come back in because I don't know if I'm going to make it this time. I really, really felt like I was close. Uh, at one point, I thought I was going and I could literally just feel my heart start to kick in and go into overdrive like it was fighting uh, to keep my blood pressure up. But, you know. It may, it's not as miraculous as it sounds in that uh, it, they uh, they have put some uh, medicine in my IV to raise my blood pressure as well. So I think it could be that that just started kicking in at that time. Whatever. I came really close. And uh, so I do not relish the idea of going home and that happening again. I, I want to get this thing taken out of me first. but uh, So I talked, you know, I had a nice discussion with the doctors, we're, we're seeing what we can do, uh, it's on the weekend, so there's not a, you know, a whole lot of wheels you can put into motion, um, so we're going to try and move the date up a little bit, uh, or just see if I can just maybe stay here uh, until, until then, just so I can keep my, keep all, my body all pumped full of any antibiotics, good antibiotics until I get this thing taken out of me. And because uh, I live by myself, I get a lot of help, but uh, so it's just not a doable. It's it's just a rougher situation. When, so you know, so it'd be a heck of a lot easier to go home with uh, and live independently if I have this stone out of my kidneys. So that's what we're looking at then. And uh, new moon, 
It's right around the corner, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, I'll be, uh, uh, so, pretty sure that's biblical. That's in the Old Testament. They used to have new moon rituals and, uh, new moon festivals and full moon festivals in the Old Testament. I think I read, I, I read about, I came across that several times. So, uh, as long as you don't, you know, you realize who actually made the moon. Can't be anything too uh, wrong with just making a. It's supposed to give your wishes, I guess, a little uh, more off, or your prayers. But I, I don't know. I guess I'm going down the wrong road here. But uh, uh, <laughs> maybe these are old habits. I don't know. But uh, so anyway, uh, it's there's nothing wrong with a little meditation and observing the beauty of nature. That are the that is the thing that we call the lunar cycle, right? Right. As long as we know who made, who created the lunar cycle, and for what purpose it was used for, it's to be used for. So, all right, ladies and gents, something about almost dying that uh, can make you a little bit preachy, I guess. But uh, so, I guess that's about it, ladies and gents. The Great Reset continues. Hail Klaus Schwab. Just joking. Long live the World Economic Forum. Just joking. Goodbye, everybody. Talk to you later.